I'm Courtney Oberhansley, and this is Draw With Me. When I was young, my family lived in Mayport, Florida, on a Navy base. My father was a destroyer commander, and when he would go to sea, uh, we would run around in our backyard, which was the Atlantic Ocean, and we would watch as his ship sailed out past the jetty, keep going, and it would disappear over the horizon. It was sad because we knew we wouldn't see him for about another six months or so. But we always kept busy. Every day after school, we would run around to the backyard and we would go swimming, we would body surf, beach comb, and if it was low tide, we'd love to explore the tidal pools. Now, a tidal pool is a little undersea world where you see fishes and shells and coral and little plants and sometimes a stingray, things that we might not see during high tide. Today's drawing is based on my adventures on the beach there of the Atlantic Ocean and the wonderful adventures I had, so I hope you enjoy it. Now grab your paper, your pencil, crayons, markers, whatever you like to use, and let's get started. We're going to start with a shell. So we're going to put an oval shape here. And up here, we're gonna draw a scallop, which means you come up, around, and these each one goes a little bit higher until you start coming back down in. And then go back into that oval. Great. Now in here, there's a swirly line here, and a circle here with a little pearl. Okay, let's draw these lines coming down, just like that. Nice. We're going to draw another clamshell like that, only it's going to be closed. So we'll go the same, same shape that we did before and close it. And here, those shells always have sort of a hinge type thing back here. Let's draw those lines in. Okay, now we're going to put the ocean floor here. That's a very sandy bed. And it's ripply because of the ocean currents. It's a, nice. Okay. Now here, let's put a nice piece of seaweed. Not up too high, but there. Good. Okay, now I think we're going to draw our main character here. And we're going to draw a line down, sloping down. And it's going to curve in and out and keep sloping down. And on this side, we're going to go up a little bit, in and out to a point. And the same thing here, it's going to go in and out to a point, and then let's do a curving line there. Good. Okay, now let's put an eye here. And we'll color some of it in, not all of it. Let's go ahead and we'll put another curvy piece of seaweed only this one let's go up much higher there we go it's waving in the current okay now back over here let's put I want you to do a spiral we do that by we start with a circle and we make a bigger circle and a bigger circle and a bigger circle and let's stop right here and go down and over here we're gonna draw a line down like that some type of a shell. It's pretty. Now let's put a piece of uh, another piece of the seaweed going up and it can go a little bit behind the spiral there. And there we go. Ooh, it's really fun to do those swirly lines. Now we're going to put some coral back here behind the shell here. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go in here and stop. And before we draw the rest of it, let's put a real spiky plant here. Nice and spiky, up and in, up and in. Very good. 
and the, we're gonna draw the rest of the coral coming up so we're gonna pretend the line just starts there kind of and it goes off there and that way it looks like you can see it back behind the plant there excellent okay I don't have too many more things to put in but let's put some definitely some little rocky particles here on the floor Maybe it's little bits of shell. Okay, good. Now, we need to add some things to the fish. He does not look right yet, so we have to give him some fins. Go up and another swirly line down. And the bottom one, the same thing, go down and then a swirly up. And let's give him a nice fin here as well. Draw some lines there. And let's put some lines here. And some lines here. And they don't have to be perfectly straight. They can be kind of squiggly as well. Let's do the same thing with his tail. Kind of some curving lines. There. Okay, and then I think we better give him some scales. The scales, I kind of alternate them. Now, a couple more items to add. Let's add some bubbles here going up. And since it's a tidal pool, it's very shallow and we can see some of the rays of the sun come in. Another squiggly line. Now don't draw in front. You imagine where the line goes and it comes down like that. And let's do the other side of that ray here. It's going to stop behind the fish, and we see a little bit of it more down there. Let's put in another one over here. Okay, you stop when you get to something in front. There's maybe a little bit more of it here, and then it's going to come all the way down here. And let's do the other side over here. Okay, now, since the sun is coming down here, we're going to put sort of like a little window here. It's going to be reflecting that light or the light is shining on those air bubbles. All right, well, I think we're finished for now. This would be a great picture for coloring in blues and purples and even some pinks and greens, yellows. That would be terrific. So I would love to see your drawings and if you'd like to color them, that would be fantastic. If you would post them back on this page, I would love to see what you do with them. All right, well, thanks for joining me, and until next time, bye-bye.